Beachy, this time last year, everyone thought you were going to go. Um, I know West Adelaide, everyone was angry that you didn't, except for you. Like, did you, did you then, did you think you were getting another chance? Did you think it was all over then? Or? I didn't think it was all over. I've always liked to persevere in that, and um, I knew what I had to work on and uh, just try and be consistent again this year. And uh, yeah, it's proved to, with a bit of luck today, I got picked up. So Who, who knew? Well, I spoke to Marksy and Schmidt captain and they reckon they had no idea like was this a few weeks ago or yeah i had a bit of interest from some clubs during the year but this is the first year i hadn't told anyone hadn't told the parents or anything uh, just the girlfriend and um kept it all pretty low and uh the crows rang me this morning and said if it goes my way i might get the opportunity so um yeah it was good in the way it worked out because i rang the parents that after and they were all surprised because uh, no one saw it coming and John, what does it mean to you you've been obviously at west you've played 100 and 29 games or something, been in the system for a long time. You've been close before, as Hazy said last year, when Bahamish was saying he was disappointed he couldn't pick you up because you were close then. What, what does it mean to you to finally get a chance at age 25? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, it's everything I've, uh, I suppose, dreamt of and worked for, and uh, it's great to win a premiership with uh, Westies last year, and it's going to be interesting this year if I have to play against them. But um, yeah, it's everything I've worked for, and it's uh, good it's paid off finally. Did you think your chance at some point, even after last year's rookie draft, might have gone? No, I never thought it was gone because you see guys like Pods and Callan get picked up uh, older than me. So I um, never thought it was gone and um, yeah, just had to keep persevering and be consistent with my footy. You just touched on, on Callan and Pods Adley who were older when they got drafted. They carved out some, you know, I think Callan only played 32 games, but he carved out a couple of good years. Pod Sadley, obviously, has that shown you that maybe that could be your plan now to still carve out a nice AFL career? Are they sort of inspirations for you? Yeah, well, Crows uh, have proven that they've picked up some mature age players that have um, gone on to have successful AFL careers, and um, I'm definitely hoping to do that. Um, I'll be doing everything I can at training and uh, taking all the advice I can from players and coaches to, um, yeah, be similar to those boys. Are these guys in contact with you during the year? Like, as, as soon as you didn't get picked up last year, did they say it's not over? Uh, they've been in contact with me like after the draft last year and then during the year. And but yeah, mainly uh, before the draft this morning, hearing from them and um, you know got my hopes up a bit, but um, never um, penciled it in. That's for sure. So, How did you find out? Did you watch it unfold online or? Uh, this is the first year. Well, yeah, it's, I think it's my eighth year in the draft, but the first year I actually haven't watched it. And um, I was just waiting for messages and phone calls to come through if it did happen, and yeah, they started flowing. From who? Who was the first? Ah, uh, just mates and uh, just family, and then I was getting phone calls. So um, yeah, I just I was at work and told my boss that Crows had picked me up, and he uh, made me talk to the CEO. She's a Crows member, so she was happy me happy for me to go. So where do you work? Uh, down at Adelaide Shores in the resort and caravan park, just grounds and maintenance uh, team leader. And who contacted you from Adelaide to, to speak to you? Uh, Phil, yeah. So when you got told, when you got the messages, from, what was your instant reaction? Uh, I was happy, but uh, stayed pretty composed because uh, I was on a work site. So um, just quietly went up to my boss and said, uh, yeah, "I'm going to the Crows." So. <laughs> Last year, when you didn't get the Guernsey, you said that they Crows sent you away with a few things to work on. What sort of stuff did you have to work on to get in this year? Yeah, it was mainly last year. It was just pretty stiff to miss out. Just uh, luck didn't fall my way on the day. But um, I knew I just had to be consistent with my footy and that's what they, they told me. Just keep being consistent, keep banging the door down. And uh, yeah, I tried my hardest to do that and uh, yeah, it's paid off for me today. You, you've played everywhere. Like, I've seen you played in back, wing, forward. As a, I mean, have they spoken to you about your sort of role? Would you be like a utility or are you going to concentrate on one specific area? Or? Uh, it's been pretty full on today with uh, everything, so I haven't really sat down properly, but um, probably mainly as a forward and then maybe spurts through the midfield as well. But yeah, I'll, that'll all come about over the weeks. Rue's always been a big fan of yours. Has he spoken to you yet? No, I haven't spoken to Rue. I spoke to him uh, last year, but I haven't really spoke to him this year. Um, he sent me a message uh, once we'd won the grand final saying congratulations at, at Westies, but um, yeah, I haven't been in contact with him. OK, I feel why this year? Oh, John has just beaten the door down, really. His form's just remained consistent for the last two or three seasons. We've continued to track him. Um, we thought it might have happened last year, but the opportunity just didn't present through circumstances. And 
Um, he just continued to play consistent, the type of footy that, that, that we like and Don as a new coach uh, likes the, the sort of uh, the, the team first, the competitiveness, the hard working type of player and we think Jono fits that. Bill and uh, the opportunity presented so we've given him the opportunity and we're at. So you guys are very happy to give him the opportunity obviously so it's a bit of a feel good story as you said you were close to getting him last year. Yeah it, it is a feel good story but I mean the reason we've picked him is because we think he can help our team. Um, we don't just hand over positions on the team easily, but uh, Jono's worked hard and uh, we think that what he brings to the table can can help our team be better. Is that a forward slash midfielder type role? Probably, yeah. You know, Jono's um, this year in particular um, started to hit the scoreboard a lot again. Uh, two years ago, Jono kicked 36 goals. Last year, his role changed a little with some more time midfield across half back. This year, in a more uh, permanent role in the forward line, he's hit the scoreboard again with another 35 goals, and that's where we think he can he can really bring something to our team. And the ruckman, yeah, Paul Hunter, yeah, it's it's another good story. Um, Paul, we identified a need that we we needed to bring another ruck into the group if we could. We've been tracking Paul for a couple of years up in the NEFL competition. He's continued to to improve, and uh, the opportunity has presented again for him. So we've. Um, We've, we've taken him and we think he'll be really good back up initially for our, for our current rucks and if he can develop well enough over the next couple of years, you know, he, he can hopefully push for a spot in the team as well. How did he take that news? Did you have to phone him and let him know? Yeah, Justin actually made that call this morning and uh, he was very excited. Yeah, he was on the work side as well. He was on the tools. Uh, Paul's an electrician and um, yeah, he was, he was over the moon. He was. He, he couldn't help himself. He was so excited. So he'll be down on the weekend and, and uh, ready to go on Monday. John, are your boss going to be a bit disappointed that you might have to give up a few days at work? Uh, he loves footy himself and he, he knows how passionate I am about footy. So um, he's happy to see me go. But um, yeah, we're in the middle of, a, middle of a big project at the moment. So he's probably disappointed I had to just shoot off today while things are trying to get done.